Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of WNBA Prize Picks Top Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm Cooper Boni for Odd Chopper. You can find me on social media at Crashboards DFS. Back with another couple of picks for tonight's game, guys. Just a solo game, a game three between the Sky and the New York Liberty to decide who will move on to the semifinals and the WNBA playoffs this season. Just a quick review on last time I had a video out, guys, a couple days ago. Just bad plays. 0-2. I got killed across the board betting and prize picks. So it was not a good day for me. As I mentioned in my best bets video, you guys know I'm transparent. I'm never going to sit here and act like I'm going to win every bet. So I have no problem getting on here and just telling you I got absolutely obliterated last time out. Uh, kind of got hosed a little bit. Alicia Gray had, I took Alicia Gray over one and a half three pointer. She had one three pointer made in the first two minutes of the game, did not hit another one. I believe she shot five more times too. So that I thought that was hidden for sure. I also took Kayla Thornton under 22 and a half fantasy score based on how she's been playing and how Savile has been getting more minutes recently. Well, Kayla Thornton decided that she wanted to come out and make four three pointers. She's only had three three pointers in a game two times this season. She had four in this game. She had not done that yet this year. She literally came out so high. You guys know how that is. You take an under on a player that's been performing not very well. All of a sudden you're watching the game as you have the under. And she is just lighting it up. I mean, three-pointer after three-pointer. She's involved in every play, assisting, rebounding. I was watching the game, and I was just beside myself. So, But not a great day. Last time out, I had a video just a couple days ago. Let's see if we can't turn it around tonight, guys. As always, tail whatever you like, fade whatever you don't. I'm not sitting here telling you, make these plays. These are going to win. I'm saying, based on the research I've done, what I've looked into, these are the plays that I think have a good percentage chance of hitting. Let's go ahead and jump into these picks for tonight, guys. First one I have is going to be Courtney Vandersloot over 11 and a half points. Uh, we're going to go over. Like I said, she's averaging 13.1 points per game over her last three postseason runs. That's the last three seasons, 13.1 points per game in the playoffs. That includes 14.5 points per game in her first two games this series. Uh, over her last eight games this season as a whole, at these last two playoff games and then six games to end the season, She's averaged 14.6 points per game. So she ended the season strong. Uh, she's been playing well recently. Like I said, last two games, averaging 14.5 uh, points per game. She's gone over this number in 80% of her games against the Liberty this year, guys. Four out of five games. Uh, she's averaged 16 points per game versus New York in those five games. So she does well against New York. She's an experienced guard going up against a couple inexperienced guards. She shot over 12 field goal attempts per game in those five games as well. So the usage is there. The opportunity is there. Uh, and because she's not the best player on her team, she gets more open shots than a player like Candace Parker would. Like I mentioned, you guys, Vandersloot, she's a veteran. She's expected to perform in do or die situations like these. Uh, this is a must win game. I expect her to continue her recent playoff success. We know she's capable of hitting this prop. It helps to look back to just five games ago where they played the Storm, one of the league's premier defensive teams, and she dropped a 28-piece on them. So we know she's capable of hitting. We know she's capable of dropping 20-plus points every now and then. Definitely capable of hitting that 15-plus mark. So with this projection at 11.5 and, and a must win, I definitely like the idea of Vandersloot stepping it up and having a good scoring night. And the last thing I have here, guys, is that I think the Liberty will be heavily focused on containing players like Candace Parker and Clea Copper, rather than players like Courtney Vandersloot, Ali Quigley, Ezra Stevens, players of that nature. I just don't think that the Liberty are going to want to lose a series finale and end their playoff run because they let the two Sky star players drop 40 on them and dominate the game. I think there's going to be a lot more help rolling over to Kalia Copper and Candace Parker. I think that leaves some open shots, some more opportunities for players like Quigley, Vandersloot, Stevens, and those secondary pieces for Chicago. Before we hop into the second and final pick, guys, as always, need to mention shows brought to you by Prize Picks. Head on over, you guys. They are running a first match deposit up to $100 if you use the promo code AWESOMO for podcast listeners. That is A W E S E M O. Awesome. They will match your first deposit up to $100 over at Prospects right now, guys. So head on over. It's a great place to gamble. You build little two to five slip parlays. You can play flex plays or power plays, which just kind of determines how many of those props you'll need to hit in order to make profit, in order to get paid. If you're feeling more confident, you can try to go four for four, five for five in a power play. If you're feeling a little less confident that day, try out a flex play. See if you can't just win some of your money back. But 
they kind of leave the options open for you on how you want to bet on any particular game on any given night. So definitely head on over there, guys. Like I said, first match deposit up to $100. Don't want to miss out on that. Uh, you can download Price Picks in the App Store, or Google Play, or you can click the link down below. That will get you over there as well. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the final pick of the night. We're going to stick with Chicago, guys. This pick is chalked all over the place. I don't know if you guys are on socials or whatnot, but good Lord, everybody's playing this. I'm not going to let that stop me from playing it. I wanted to play this before I checked out the scene, kind of saw where everyone stood. Kalia Copper over 0.5 blocks and steals. A couple of notes on this one, guys. She's had one or more stocks in 80% of her games against the New York Liberty this year. So four out of five games, she's had one or more stocks. She's gone over this prop in 80% of her games versus New York this season. In five games against New York, she's averaged 1.2 stocks per game. And she's averaged two stocks per game over the first two games of the series. So all signs pointing towards Kalia Copper being able to hit this prop again. All she needs is one to clear, and she's a player that's very capable of doing so. Last postseason, Copper played in 10 games. She averaged 1.2 stocks per game on her way to winning the finals MVP after Chicago won the championship. So last year, she did it. Like I said, 10 games. 12 stocks. So if she could do it last year, she can do the exact same thing this year. Another note here, guys, is that Kalia Copper has been playing out of her mind in general over the last month, scoring at will. Uh, she's been involved in a lot of different aspects of the game. And the last two games have been much of the same. Now she's in a winner go home type situation and Chicago's fighting for their playoff lives with this much on the line. Normally your star players are going to go above and beyond. They're going to go 110%. Uh, and I expect to see Copper and company diving for loose balls, playing with an extremely high motor. And whenever it's a high pressure, big situation, like a game three, win or go home game in the playoffs, this is where you're going to see your star players and your secondary pieces. Really, you would hope to see your whole team play with that extra effort. Like I said, being scrappy, diving for loose balls, doing all that type of stuff. So love that this prop is at 0.5. I probably wouldn't have taken it if it was at one, just because she's not typically a grab steals, block shots type of player. But on her career, she averages about one stock per game. So all in all, this just seems like a prop that sets up well, considering the situation, considering the opposing team. And the last thing I had for this one, guys, is that the Liberty have the highest turnover percentage out of all the teams so far in this postseason. Granted, this postseason, they've only played against Chicago. Therefore, Chicago uh, lead the playoffs in blocks and steals per game so far. But that goes to show that Chicago's been getting it done defensively in terms of turning the New York Liberty over. And the Liberty ranked bottom five this season in the regular season in terms of uh, turnover percentage. So this is a team that is very, very capable of turning the ball over. Sabrina Ionescu is a great player, but she's still young. She's capable of turning the ball over. Players like Crystal Dangerfield. Natasha Howard had a point in the season where all she did was turn the ball over. And that was just as recent as a month ago. I mean, there's a few games where she had five plus turnovers. So between Chicago being able to take the ball away, this being a back against the wall, win or go home matchup, and New York not being a good team in terms of holding onto the ball throughout the regular season, everything just kind of points towards me liking this Kalia Copper prop a lot. This is probably my favorite prop of the day. I know that, like I said, it's kind of chalked. A lot of people are on this now. It might very well get bumped to one considering the three she had last game. So just keep an eye on that over the day. Again, guys, the picks for tonight are going to be Kalia Copper over 0.5 blocks and steals and Courtney Vandersloot over 11 and a half points. That'll do it for me, you guys. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to the Odd Shopper YouTube page. A lot of great content, a lot of great content creators for every sport, whatever you're into. We got PGA, UFC, MLB, NBA and NFL just around the corner. And of course, we got uh, WNBA stuff going on. I appreciate you guys always checking out the stuff. Again, bad day betting, bad day on prize picks. That's going to happen, guys. It's gambling. This is why we do it. That's part of it. So let's see if we can't turn it around tonight. As I always say, tail what you like, fade what you don't. No, no pressure to put these exact plays in your slip. But if you like it, if you want to do some more research on it based on what I'm telling you about it, check it out. Throw it in your lineup. That'll do it for me, you guys. Hope everybody wins some money tonight. Until tomorrow, I will have another video out betting and prize picks for game three of the Dallas Wings Connecticut Sun game. That is also a winner go home. So you guys make sure you come check me out for that. Until then, guys, good luck tonight. Hope everyone wins some money and talk to you later.